Alright, we're back. Alright, so... Like I was saying, I don't think we have enough time to try to finish that right now. Maybe we'll restart the loop, and instead of going back there, we'll try the other mortuary in the lowlands. Lowlands? The lowlands? Whatever that's called, the river, the river lowlands. Lowlands. Lowlands, lowlands. We'll try the other mortuary. We've been trying the one high up a lot. And that takes a while to get through through that area. We haven't really tried the first one that we come across that much. Because in that... In the cliffside one, we found that mural with a tree with a big hole in it. Which kind of looks like the tree at Timber Earth that they use as the launch tower, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. So it's like it's like the Great Hollow, but for them. So we gotta find their Great ho Hollow. And I'm thinking it's in the the area with the first mortuary. doing this because I was scared of the other area. Although it was pretty scary. <laughs> Gotta admit. Can't be denied. Alright. Got that. Forgetting that I don't have a jetpack. So we didn't. We explored this area a little bit. But there's probably some stuff here I didn't really pay much, much attention to. Let's extinguish that. That's not the Great Hollow, is it? I don't think it is. around out in, on this island. I don't know if there's an actual reason to, though. This kind of seems like it's just a spot to get lost in for no reason and waste time. Jump up here. 
I mean, it would be cool, but I don't think the game's gonna let me. If the game wanted me to get up there, it would have got given me a way up there. I still need to try that. No, I'm not gonna be able to jump high enough. So it's a real pain navigating through these tree roots. Oh, wait. What is this? There's a staircase there, and there's more stuff over here to explore? Okay. What's up here? Anything? Nothing? Oh! Yeah, so I am supposed to go up there. Just probably from the other side. There's another area over here. I don't know if that's just background setting or if it's a place to actually go, but... There we go. Nice. Was that a dude? I think there was a dude over there. Yeah, there's a dude there too. That green lantern appears to be floating as a dude hang hanging onto it. I was hoping this would take me back to the words at the beginning. But it does not. What about this? Okay, that's the beginning. There's a staircase up here. So this is a shortcut. Okay, cool. So I don't have to re repeat the steps I've taken so far. The fact that this exists means I'm probably going to have to repeat this area again. I missed the bridge. <laughs> yes, stumbling around in the dark seems to be a major mechanic for these areas. Which is fine. It's not the best. I've seen more clever mechanics in this game, but it's definitely a suspenseful thing. Now that I think of, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking 
I'm wondering if you're gonna have to repeat these steps and try to do them all again to do like a perfect loop type thing. before stay here. He, I'm hoping he won't see me. Is that guy coming this way too? Yes, he is. Okay. So I'll wait for him. That's a door I can't go through. That's also a door I can't go through. Is this even an area I want to go to? Seems like they're only going one way. So what happens if I just follow one of these guys? I was assuming that they were patrolling around and stopping and looking, but they these guys don't know I'm here yet. It's not like the other... It's not like the others that had heard the alarm go out. Or the lights go out, rather. These guys are just doing their rounds, being lazy. Not having a care in the world. These guys just die from the water. It's like they were living in their dream world, but then they got zapped to their dead bodies. Is that basically what happened? It could be. So we need to be able to do that, but do it quicker. Alright, 
We're gonna do that. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So what a little... Yeah, this will be... This will be close to eight hours that I spent just on the DLC alone. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more over eight hours. Because my first session was five. My second session was three. Third session was just one hour, and granted, a decent chunk of that is was going to be spent just on the normal tutorial as well as technical issues that I was having at the very beginning. Probably been close to ten hours that I've been working on the DLC, and I'm still not sure how close I am to getting to the end of it. Figuring out this dream world and whatever it is I'm supposed to find there is going to be a big part of what I need to do. So let's try this sequence again that I was just doing. to this. I feel like there's still one more mortuary I haven't actually been to yet. Because some of the some of the pictures are showing one that like it seemed to be in the side of a cliff. Uh, that could be that could be the one that's higher up. That's probably what I'm thinking of. I just kind of, for some reason, I pictured it being clo down close to the water or something like that. I was thinking last night, part of the reason I wasn't expecting Doze Off to be an actual mechanic you needed to use is because the whole Doze Off mechanic wasn't even in the game to begin with. Like, you didn't have to fall asleep at any point. It was just a way to skip time. So the fact that it's, you know, required to access this part of the game is kind of cool, really. It was unexpected, that's for sure. All right, thank you. dude get him behind him that way we know we're not accidentally walking into the water by flashing my safe oh oh I am not safe okay he got me okay the first time the first time they grab you per loop it's a little extra dramatic So if he's in my zone of light, then he notices me. Okay, that makes sense. Just having his back turned towards me isn't good enough.
that's in... Okay, that takes me back. That's not the direction I want to go in, though. See if I can find the path myself without having to follow those dudes. I'm gonna guess the answer to that is no. Oh, this might be a... No, it's not. <laughs> okay, well, there's a dude. He's probably gonna pass me by and continue on and I'll just follow him. I'd go ahead of him, but I don't want to risk getting stuck somewhere and then taking too long and having him catch up to me and find me. The only, it's only kind of a shame that they're so slow, though. Do they have tails? They do have tails. Oh, no. It's hard to tell if they have tails or not. I think that's just part of their cloak. No, they do have tails. The way it's moving implies that it might be a tail. Seriously? I came up all this way. You're not gonna just talk to me? Okay. <clears throat> it looked like they were all gathered around for me to just be like, yo, what's up? I don't think I have enough time. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna meditate and try it again. have had enough time, but I'd feel too anxious following him, following behind a dude again, and not being sure how much longer it was going to take. Because it's not long before the dam breaks. I think it's before the 10 minute mark, 10 minute mark that the dam breaks. Hey, there's the deep space probe. There we go. So I'm really not sure what their goal is. They don't like having invaders, obviously, even though they don't know why I'm there. It seems to me that they are protecting something, but I'm not really sure what. Oh, got my spacesuit on. Obviously, they weren't prepared to deal with a dude who has infinite time loops on his side.
who wins? A highly advanced Brig World civilization? Or one little dude, blue dude? Ooh. Ooh, let's not get in the coast matter. Why isn't it going back? Did I pick the wrong one? I'm trying to boost, jetpack boost my way through here with no jetpack. where I came from. I want to go up here. I might as well follow behind. Oh, there's another good hood after they're ahead of them. This part would probably be better with the controller as well. R is associated with the roll, and I forget what button on controller does the rolling. But I'm guessing that's the button you would be pressing you were doing this on controller. to say hi. Oh, I can't. I can't hide my flame from him. Okay, so they don't want to talk at all. I think that's been established now. I was hoping that guy with his back to me would be like the leader dude. Then maybe he would want to talk. It looks like that's not the case. What is the point of following him like that? Like, is there anything I can do in that room without getting caught? Can I blow out his candle? To go on the offensive?
No, that's... If I follow this path, will that take me where I need to go? No. worried that he was gonna like walk right on top of me basically oh I was getting close I was getting close I could have made it here without his help I think once I get to this point then I'm good to go the rest of the way on my own it's just like a narrow corridor the rest of the way, and then a staircase or two. Should I just stand here and just wait? Is I gonna do something now that I'm here? What's the point of coming here? I feel like it's important, but whatever my goal is, I haven't achieved it yet. I'll be honest, it's mildly frustrating, but I still want to find out what's happening. I still want to get to the bottom of this. We'll meditate. Since we've been caught twice this loop, we might as well start a new loop. Oh. Did meditate do the same thing as go to sleep? I guess it did. Yeah, we're here now. Might as well. Rather than get salty about it. guy. I missed it. 
does like a weird loop and then goes in between. Step back a little bit. Yeah. Is this the tree from the mural? Hard to tell. again. This time, it didn't work. See, my, own, my only problem with this sequence is the end. Like, what do I do at the end? I tried sitting around to see if something was going to happen with me standing there, but they closed the door behind me, too. Like, why they do that? Why are they gonna go do that? There goes the dam. What happens if I'm just sitting here while the dam hits us? I mean, it looks kind of cool, but... I don't think that's really what our objective is. All right, well, I'm gonna just take a quick, like, two minute break, and we'll be back shortly.